Hello, Nomads Cult, and this is a um, tutorial about yeah, baking textures on the tube. So maybe you want to play a little bit with the tube and the textures. So this is a workaround. Okay, <clears throat> so here in this example, I create such a wine bottle. Um, so this is yeah, a tube and you can play uh, with it like you want. Okay, how to do this? So I delete here everything. In this workaround you need um, yeah, a other object here. So I need the wine bottle. You can sculpt it yourself and project the whole thing then on the um, on the tube. And here I used Sketchfab. I used the Sketchfab model, and it's free. You can download it, and then I pick this Sketchfab uh, model and place it in the scene, like this here. So here's our wine bottle. <clears throat> so the next thing is we need a tube. So I select the tube tool here and I create a path. So I draw only a straight line here. Press the green dot. And uh, I try to make it uh, straight to the view. So I pick now the, the gizmo and I try to place it inside the or here in the same position as the bottle like this. And in the side view I do the same. So I place it inside the bottle. So I switch back to the tube mode, to the node editing mode and so here the radius of this thing and now the bottle is inside the, the tube so here's some somewhere inside the hierarchy there's my tube i bring it out and here in the misc menu here you see here it's now possible to bake the texture from high res so here you can set your settings here. I tried it with opacity um, because the wine bottle is um, yeah, a glass material. So let's try it. And here you can set the resolution of your um, baked texture. So I use 2K and I press now bake from high res. <coughs> So now the texture of the wine bottle is on the tube. So, so it's not um, complete. So in fact we don't need the wine bottle anymore. But you see here um, this thing here is not uh, yeah, baked proper. So the bottom is okay. And yeah, let's fix it. I um, I create a clone. So this model I delete now. I, we don't need it anymore. So for the tube, we need a copy. So I clone it one time and I validate the, the tube. So now we have a, a solid object or a, a validated object. And for the, for the cap here, I use the paint tool. I choose here the right color. So maybe like this here. So and I paint here. I think we use a little bit uh, higher uh, poly count. So I subdivide the mesh one time. So and I paint here the cap.
it's not perfect. So now we go back to the to the other tube. I use now solo view and again I use the baking option and bake from high res. So now the cap is okay, so I'm happy. Okay, let's play a little bit with the tube. So we need more radii, so I activate all ready for the for the tube nice it works so the next thing is here the glass is not uh, the opacity is not correct so i don't like it so i go back to the cylinder cylinder view and I use now um, again a copy, so I clone this object and I validate it. And now we need more topology. I use linear subdivision and subdivide it a few times, so here we see the wireframe. Maybe like this. And now I use the cell mask. So I mask here, here, this part. Need a smaller rectangular. Maybe like this. And the top part here. Okay. So now I use um, the painting or material menu. And here you can set the opacity. I turned everything, uh, the checkboxes for the color, roughness and so on are off. And the opacity is like this. Maybe maybe a little little bit metalness or something. Yeah, we can play with it. So and I press paint all. So now this is our glass material at the moment. So maybe maybe like this. I think it's okay. Okay, then back to the main tube and I make it visible again and again in the MISC menu the baking. So you see here a number two, so um, make this uh, object here invisible and so we only need the opacity. So, baking. So now the wine bottle is okay. I think now it works. So now we have a nice wine bottle <laughs> with uh, we can play with. Yeah, nice it's when the when it's a straight bottle. So
so something like this here. Okay, so it's possible to save this as a as a as a tube. Um, so here in the export settings, choose the Nomad file type, choose select it and export it. So I save this um, for my other projects here. So. And I save this as wine bottle two. So and every time you need this uh, wine bottle thing here, you can here drag and drop uh, and add to scene. So every time you get it back. So. And you can edit it. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.